Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about character and family quest for training life skill content. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, after 21 September 2022 maintenance update, we just got huge major update for training content. And for more detail about any explanation for any training content that they just update after 21 September 2022 maintenance update, you can check on my global lab update at 2 September 2022 because I already explain all this detail information for any training life skill content that they update after this maintenance done. But as I promise on this video, right now on this video, I will guide you how to finish this training questline either for character training questline that you can do it once per character to level up your training level until artisan 10 or higher and also I will guide you how to finish this honor to training family quest that this training family quest you only can do it once per account and special for this training family quest this is will give you huge reward if you finish all this questline and most of this reward you can get it from per shop and at the last of this questline you can get this mythical sensor this is special item to attempt tier 10 mythical horse Okay, if you check in game and open your quest page by pressing O and then go to suggested tab, if you scroll down, you will find this quest category, Life Leap Training Guru. There are 11 quests that you can do from this quest line, and this is character training quest that you can do it once per character. And if you finish all this quest line, this is will give you huge training experience for your character training life skill. And the more quests that you finish from this quest line, the more huge character training level experience that you can get after finishing this quest line and at the end you also can get heart and sharp black crystal shard as the reward from this quest line and take notice requirement to get this character training quest line there are some quest requirement for your character training life skill level either for beginner 10 apprentice 5 and etc and you can see this quest requirement by hovering your cursor at this quest name on this quest list and after you finish all this character training quest line from this life flip training guru category you can continue to finish this training family quest honor to training family there are six quests that you only can do it once per account as you can see for this first quest if you want to finish this first quest from this family quest your character need to finish character training quest line training leap apprentice 5 training for delivery and the next family training quest you need to finish previous training family quest and also your character must finish your character training quest line. So if you want to finish this training family quest line, I recommend you to do this character training quest line first, training guru, that you need to finish 11 quests from this character quest line. And then you can finish this family training quest line until the end to get any huge reward from this family quest that you only can do it once per account. Okay, let's start this guide starting from character quest line. And take notice before you start this quest line, make sure you turn on all your quest filter on below of your quest page so you can see any quest offer from any NPC. Okay, first character quest for training is training lip beginner 10, training for the children. To get this quest, you just need to go to Melissa Brandy at Hedel City. You need your character reach training beginner 10 or higher and you can get this quest from Melissa Brandy at Hedel City that located on this area on map. Okay, after you talk with this NPC, you just need to take this quest and to finish this quest, you just need to talk to Melissa Brandy again to choose this interaction, share some beginner training secret and you will finish this quest and this quest will reward you character skill training experience. As you can see right now, my training level is master 4 with 16.51% and when I finish this quest, my training experience already increased to become 16.59% on master 4. 
and they mention if you finish this quest, if your training level is beginner 10, you will get experience equivalent to 90% to become apprentice level. Okay, next quest is training leap apprentice 5, training for delivery. Requirement to get this quest, your character must have training level apprentice 5 or higher, and also already complete previous training leap beginner 10. And to get this quest, you just need to go to Mel Costa NPC that located at Costa Farm at this location on map. And when you talk with this Mel Costa NPC and take the quest, you can take this training leap apprentice 5, training for delivery. And after you take this quest, to finish this quest, you just need to interact with this NPC again and choose this interaction, share some apprentice training secret, and you will finish this quest. And when you complete this quest, you will get some training experience for your character. And before I claim this reward, as you can see, my training level is Master 4 with 16.59%. And when I claim the reward for this training experience, as you can see, my training experience already increased to become 16.71% on master 4 but they mention if your training level is apprentice 5 you will get experience equivalent to 50 percent to go to apprentice 6 okay next quest is training leap apprentice 10 horse in the ruin requirement to get this quest your character must have training level at least apprentice 10 or higher and also already complete previous quest training leap apprentice 5 and to take this quest you just need to go to npc zara Linz that located at Linz farm ruins on this area on map. Okay, after arrive at this NPC, you just need to talk with her and take the quest Training Leap Apprentice 10 Horse in the Ruin. And to finish this quest, you need to tame one white horse. And you can find wild horse around this area. Or if you didn't see any horse on this area, you can switch to another server to search horse on this location. But if you still didn't see any wild horse around this area, you can go around this area on map. There are another one horse on this area. Or around this area, there are two wild horse on this area. After you success them one wild horse, you will finish this quest. And just report it back to Zara Linz. To finish this quest but before i claim this reward for this training experience as you can see my training level right now is master 4 with 16.71 percent when i claim this reward my training experience already increased to become 17.10 percent and don't forget to register your time horse before on any stable keeper okay next quest is training leap skilled 5 training for soldier requirement to get this quest your character must have training level skilled 5 or higher and also complete previous quest training leap apprentice 10 and to get this quest you just need to go to npc romano prospero that located at this northwestern gateway and when you talk with this npc you can take this quest training leap skilled 5 training for soldier and to finish this quest you just need to chat with him and choose this interaction share some skill training secret and you will finish this quest but before i claim this reward for training experience as you can see my training level right now is master 4 with 17.59% and when I claim this reward my training level already increased to become 17.96% at master 4 okay next quest is training leap skill 10 kind hearted training trial and to get this quest you need to go to NPC Brisman that located at Calpeon City at this location on map after you arrive at this NPC you just need to take this quest training leap skill 10 kind hearted trainer trial and to finish this quest you just need to interact with this NPC and choose this interaction, share some skill training secret, and you will finish this quest. And before I claim this reward, as you can see my training level is master 4 with 17.96%. And after I claim this reward, my training level already increased to become 19.07%. Okay, next quest is training leap professional 4, wanna learn about precious horse. And requirement to get this quest, your character need to have training level professional 4 or higher. And also complete previous quest, training leap skill 10. And you can get this quest from NPC Herar that located at Florin City on this location on map. And after you arrive at this location, you just need to take this quest, Trainer Leap Professional 4, wanna learn about Precious Horse. And after you take this quest, to finish this quest, you need to tame another one horse. And the nearest location for any wild horse, I recommend you to go to Eperia Valley near Port Eperia because at this area there are some wild horse that you can catch. After you success to tame this wild horse, you just need to go back to Herar NPC to report this quest. But before I report this quest, 
As you can see, my training level right now is Master 4 with 19.56% and after I claim the reward, my training experience already increased to become 20.25% on Master 4. And after you finish this quest, don't forget to register your time at horse on any stable keeper. Okay, next quest is Training Leap Professional 7, All Talk But Not. And requirement to get this quest, you need character with training level professional 7 or higher and also complete previous quest training leap professional 4. And to get this quest, you need to go to NPC Gabriel that located at Calpion City on this location on map. Arrive at this location, you just need to take this quest training leap professional 7, all talk but not truth. And to finish this quest, you just need to interact with this NPC and choose this interaction, prove you are worthy, and you will finish this quest. But before I claim this reward, as you can see my training level is master 4 with 20.25% right now. And after I claim this reward, my training experience already increased to become 21.52% on master 4. Okay, next quest is training leap professional 10, horses for the big city. Requirement to get this quest, you need character who have reached training level professional 10 or higher and also already complete previous quest training leap professional 7. And to get this quest, you just need to go to NPC Romeri that located at Calpion City on this location on map. And after you reach this NPC, you just need to take this quest, Training Leap Professional 10, Horses for the Big City. And after you take this quest, to finish this quest, you need to tame another one horse. And same as before, you just need to tame Wild Horse at Eperia Valley. After you success to tame Wild Horse once again, you just need to go back to Romeri NPC to report this quest. But before I report this quest, as you can see, my training level right now is Master 4 with 21.52%. And after I report this quest, my training level already increased to become 26.45%. And don't forget to register your tame Wild Horse on any stable keeper. Okay, next quest is training leap artisan 4 after the horse herd and requirement to get this quest you need character who have reached training level artisan 4 or higher and also or the complete previous quest training leap professional 10 and to get this quest you just need to talk to npc melson bandor that located at albun village at media region okay just go to target location okay arrive at this npc melson bandor at Abun Village, you just need to take this quest, Training Leap Artisan 4, after the horse herd. And after you take this quest, to finish this quest, you just need to keep talking with this NPC, and you will automatically finish this quest and get all the reward. Okay, next quest is Training Leap Artisan 7, No Better Horse Whisperer. And the requirement to get this quest, you need character who have training level Artisan 7 or higher, and also already complete previous quest, Training Leap Artisan 4. And to get this quest, you just need to go to NPC Wapra that located at Stone Tail Horse Ranch at Media Region. Okay, arrive at this NPC, you just need to talk with him and take the quest. Training Leap Artisan 7, No Better Horse Whisperer. And to finish this quest, you need to hand over Carrot Confit 100 pieces and also time one Wild Horse. And to get this Carrot Confit 100 pieces, actually you can purchase it from Central Market if have stock. But if your Central Market didn't have any stock, you can craft it yourself by cooking using cooking utensil on your residence or your manor. Using all these ingredients, either 2 pieces special carrot, 6 pieces mineral water, 3 pieces lump of raw sugar, 2 pieces salt, and 4 pieces cinnamon. And all this material, you can purchase it from Central Market if have stock. But if some material didn't have stock on Central Market, for special carrot, you need to plant it yourself using your fans. And for lump of raw sugar, you can craft it yourself by heating raw sugar that you can purchase it from any cook vendor with one piece mineral water that you also can purchase it from any cook vendor. And then for salt, you can purchase it from cook vendor. And the last for cinnamon, if you didn't have any stock for cinnamon, you can gathering it yourself on this red area near Tariff City. And after you collect all this material, you just need to cooking it using cooking utensil on your residence or your manner. And take notice, to cook this carrot confit, you need character who have cooking level beginner 6 or higher. 
Because if your character have low than beginner 6, you cannot cook this carrot confit. Okay, after you success to time one wild horse and also hand over 100 pieces carrot confit, you will finish this quest. And before I take the reward, as you can see, my training level is master 4 with 33.12% right now. And when I claim this reward, my training experience already increased to become 43.45% on master 4. Okay, next the last character quest for this training quest line is training lip artisan 10 emergency 8 that requirement to get this quest you need character who have reached training level artisan 10 or higher and also or the complete previous quest training lip artisan 7 and to get this quest you just need to go to mesa npc that located at Altinova City at this location on map. And after you arrive at this location, you just need to take this quest, Training Leap Artisan 10, Emergency 8. And to finish this quest, you just need to keep talking with this NPC and you will auto-complete this quest. But before I take this quest, as you can see, my training level is Master 4 with 43.45% right now. And after I report this quest, my training experience already increased to become 47.03% on my Master 4. Okay, after you complete all these character quests for this training quest line until the end, you can take all these family quests on honor of the training family quest tab. Because to get all these six training family quests, your character must finish previous character training quest line. And to get this quest, you just need to go to NPC Gula that located at Stone Tail Horse Ranch at this location on map at Media Region. And arrive at this Gula NPC, you just need to talk with him and take the quest lip honor to the training family one and after you take this quest you just need to keep talking with him to report this quest and get the reward and after you finishing this first part you will get mon skill chance coupon to pieces okay just take the second part for this family quest and you can claim another mon skill chance coupon to pieces and horse breeding reset for female horse one piece and next for part three you can get another mon skill chance coupon three pieces and also horse breeding reset for female horse and just keep talking to claim this reward and for part four this quest will reward you another three pieces mon skill chance coupon and also 50 pieces for tier 9 material attempt that will give you two percent experience and just keep talking to claim all this reward and next for part five for this training family quest you will reward it with even premium horse appearance chance coupon okay just keep talking with him to finish this quest and get the reward and the last for part six you can claim this mon skill selection coupon that you can use it to change your mon skill with guarantee chance for any skill that you select but take notice this mon skill selection coupon you only can use it one time per mount so on same mount you cannot use it for second time using this mon skill selection coupon and also another huge material is mythical sensor and this item is special material to attempt tier 10 mythical horse either arduana dine or doom in future that usually this mythical sensor we can craft it that i got you on this schematic and for more detail about this tier 10 attempt you can check on my special video when i try to attempt tier 10 mythical arduana on this video okay just keep talking with this gula npc to claim all this reward okay that's all how to finish all this character and family quest for this training quest line and as the reward you can get mon skill chance coupon 10 pieces horse breeding reset for male and female version one piece its type even premium horse appearance chance coupon one piece and mon skill selection coupon one piece that all this item is per item that mostly you only can purchase it from per shop and another expensive item is mythical sensor for tier 10 attempt and once again take notice all these character quests you can do it one time per character to level up your training level for each character in your account but for leap of honor training family quest these six quests you only can do it once per family and if you use another character in your account you cannot do this family quest anymore if you already finish it before and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via patreon karya karsa and youtube membership and also my current member dubiadut jimmy snake doki angel 
Ayrton, Cash Shuban, Kill Steel, Remy, Token R42, Demonite, Bebu, S Gold member, and also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video. Depend on your support level. And be noticed for some level there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karekarsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video. I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all how to finish this character and family training life skill quest line. Hope all this information can be useful for you if you like this video you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update thank you for watching see you next time